So, hello everyone. I am Robel Jan Yusongkog from BSIT 2R7. So, today I am going to do the performance as given to us by our teacher and it is the store checkout calculator. So, in this, you need to show the list of the items that you are going to sell. You need to ask the user which item would like to purchase and how many. The user can add to cart as much as they want. Once the user chooses the checkout, you should be able to display this for so the name of the item the number of items they added the total cost per item and the total cost in their card so here in my code first the first line is the package com company that is built in in the IntelliJ uh, IntelliJ IDE so uh, the next would be the uh, Java util that scanner that allows us to use the scanner method yeah, th that allows us to use the scanner method. So, in the f uh, seventh line, that is the int here, I declare the 10 items or 10 products that I am going to sell and value them to the uh, zero because that is the quantity, quantity that the uh, customer would like to purchase. So, if they want to purchase, it will go up to something like 5, 4, or it depends on how much they want to purchase so next is the float so why I use float because I want decimal places on the prices so this stands for uh, price meaning coke price I just added the letter P for price so in all the products I just do the same so next uh, here we let's say declare the scanner so the scanner scan this is our scanner new scanner system dot in okay so next is the for loop uh, this is for the mm, uh, this is for the if the user wanted to purchase more more items then it will just loop until the until the user wanted to stop so I just put 1000 so I can ha I can put here ten thousand or many more, but uh, most of the people would like uh, wouldn't exceed one thousand purchases. So next would be the here. This is this is the time we are going to display to the user the items that we are selling. So as you can see here, wait, okay, run. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the outcome of the uh, print line so this just display what what are what we are selling so next so for us to identify what he choose or what he what he wants to buy we are going to declare the choice so in that choice we are going to scan the next input from the user which is the end <coughs> so if he chooses number If he chooses number one, which is the Coke, and it costs 12 pesos, then, yeah, if he choose one, then the one will be stored in the choice. Then, in the choice, the next would be the F, F statements. So, in the F statements, I have 10 if statements, which handles the 10 products. So, uh, each if statement has just similar similar code blocks that I have written. So in the if statements, I declare first the number of item, of course the how much I how many they wanted to purchase. So here I ask the user how many do you want to purchase. So it will scan the number of the entered input and place it to the number of item then next is the do you want it to add uh, do you want it to add to cart ipangotana kung ipa add to cart na ba daw so if yang choices is so I declare another choice which is the choice number 2 because we can't declare because we have the first choice so choice number 2 which is the yes or no so 
if he wanted yes it will automatically go to here which is the coke is equal to coke plus the number of item meaning the the zero that we have here will be added i mean will be having more value so number of item meaning here how much he wanted to purchase it will add in the value here so next would be the coke price so as we all know that the coke price i have written is 12 pesos so the coke price the coke price plus the number of item times 12 that is the coke price i mean the total price that is the total coke price so that goes similar to the other if statements it's just the item is just only the difference the item is only the difference so next uh, there are 10 items with just the similar just the prices and the items would be different so here where whereas the uh, this is the ending and this is the ending for the for loop so here we printed out that do you want to buy more this is where the for loop comes in so if it chooses yes I mean if it uh, yeah if it chooses yes then it will just loop until until 1000 or until it stops so if it chooses to check out meaning the he wanted to stop then it will break the loop then after breaking the loop you can see here the float total value I declare the total value the the prices of all of all products that we have made the the price yeah I mean the the total total value and here on the last part uh, I just go with this is tab so if the more than that slash t more tabs I mean farther just to uh, have a clearer clearer sana clearer view so dili sila magkarambula so next would be here I just put the coke wait lang Okay, so there you go. So here I put the mm -hmm. Okay, so here I put the coke because that is the item. Same with the other things and then there how much uh, I mean <coughs> how many items that coke has been purchased. So that will goes there. And then the prices, the total prices of each item. So <coughs> it will go here, the total of each item. So, okay, so now we are going to run the program and let's give it a try. Okay. So, as you can see, first, he, uh, I mean, no. Okay, so ako sang tangalo ng camera. So, here, as you can see, he gi display ang kwan ang items that we are selling. So I'm going just to choose uh, Coke. Okay, so how many do you want to purchase? Let's say uh, 17. Let's say I'm going to a party and this is it. Do you want it to add to cart? So I wanted it. Yes. So I wanted to buy more because. Okay, next. Next is we are just going to buy. Uh, let's say there are parents and they wanted to drink so let's buy a red horse uh, two cases <coughs> so that's 12 okay do you want to add the card yes uh, you want to buy more maybe okay so let's choose uh, let's say sprite okay and just 17 also yes do you want to add guard yes 
and then now we are going to check out which is the number two so as you can see here the number of items that I have, I have purchased 17 cokes 17 sprite <coughs> 12 bread horses and then this is the total prices so 204 204 because they have the similar price and then 1320 and then the total with 1728 so that's all thank you have a nice day